My name is Martin O'Malley, and my dentist said I don't have to floss. My name is Susan. I almost never floss. <laughs> my name is Nina, and I floss every single day. My name is Robbie. That's my real name. I don't hide behind false names. I usually floss my teeth once a day. So this is the food I get to eat today. I'm so grateful for the opportunity to be here and be part of something like this. I'm gonna eat all of this and then I'm gonna floss it out of my teeth. I don't floss. My dentist has honestly been pretty chill about it, which might mean that I need a different dentist. Seaweed is great for getting stuck in your teeth. Just whatever I can do to make my flossing experience better. I'm not hungry, but I, I will eat this. It's already getting stuck in my teeth. It doesn't taste good, it tastes bad, and there are flies everywhere, and I think this is a filthy, sick thing. My earliest memory of flossing was probably when I was a little kid. My dad would get these really thick floss, like shoelaces. It would just hurt like hell. And uh, for a long time, I didn't floss at all. Then they started making silk floss, and I got over it. My gums don't bleed when I floss. Usually, if food has gotten stuck in there for a few days, what alerts me to the presence of it is the smell of the decaying thing. In general, I prefer to take the corn off the cob, so I avoid the whole corn on cob situation. But I feel like when I eat popcorn, it gets stuck in my teeth. Uh, I had ate something with like a green onion, and that got stuck in my teeth. Bean sprouts stuck in the teeth. Uh, Oreo crust stuck on the teeth. That's a different type of stuck. That's like a gummy or stuck. I think I have a lot of food in my teeth. It feels bad, but I'd rather keep the food there in my teeth than try to yank it out with string. Okay, it feels, feels really bad. It's terrible. Blood. Okay, it's stuck on something. Okay, I still feel it everywhere. It's a lot of food on it. There's a lot of bugs flying around. This is disgusting. <clears throat> I think what you're doing is wrong. It, sm it, it smells bad and it smells like something really old. <sighs> As someone who flashes regularly, I really do think that I'm gonna have a leg up on the other people. And I just think that flashing is nice because it lets you be free. You don't have to worry about whether stuff gets in because you know you're gonna get it out, you know? This is letting go to really get in between the hidden spaces in your own body and just really explore them. It's one of the most satisfying things in the world. Your teeth are the only bones you're allowed to touch on a regular basis. Is that blood or raspberries? I did that. I love getting stuff out of my teeth. 